Hi guys and welcome to Heidi K Makeup. I am going to do kind of a get ready with me where we're just going to do my hair today because I already did my makeup. Um, I already did my makeup but I was getting ready to straighten my hair and I thought okay we'll do kind of a chit chat get ready with me because I just like completely have forgotten that this channel existed. I think I've said that in the last several videos because I filmed a whole bunch all of them today. I've been just kind of changing my shirt. Now you know my secret. Although I don't ever know why YouTubers apologize for, um, <laughs> I don't know why YouTubers apologize for wearing the same shirt video after video. I don't think that people really notice or care. But, um, so I'm not going to apologize because I did wear this shirt last time. I'm going to just straighten my hair. I was going to curl it, but apparently I left my curling iron at my parents' house because... If you aren't following our daily vlogging channel, you might not know, but I had an audition. I had an audition last week. Um, didn't get the part, although I, I shouldn't say that. I haven't gotten callbacks yet. I very much doubt that I will because I think I would have heard back already, uh, but that's okay. I have a couple more auditions. I used to do the theater a whole bunch when I was younger, and I'm, I'm trying to make better decisions and do things that are good for me that help me like find my identity as a mom and also um i'm a stay-at-home mom so i don't get out and meet a lot of adults so i've been trying to like take charge of that and say okay let's just do that refine hobbies that i used to love for example i've been doing a lot of fish keeping lately which is something that i really love um, and I literally, it's been a decade, decade, since I auditioned for something until last week. And it was a lot of fun. So, um, when I did that, I got ready at my parents' house because we kind of spent the day there and I left my curling iron there. So I'm straightening my hair. This straightener that I'm using is by Remington. I don't know if it's cruelty free or not. I honestly don't know how they would test hair products on animals, but I do know that like Con Air is listed as cruelty free. So no idea on the Remington one, but I've had it for years. Um, and I kind of rediscovered straightening my hair in the last couple of weeks or so. Now, obviously my hair has changed a lot. It used to be red and I am blonde for the first time in I think like eight years right now um, and I was having a hard time finding a cruelty free hair dye that I wanted to use and so for years I've been using honestly just the Revlon hair dye sometimes I'll use henna I went through a stage where I was using henna but I was using like boxed Revlon hair dye which is not cruelty free at all just because I couldn't find one that is but I got this done at a salon, the blonde added in, and the salon uses Paul Mitchell, and Paul Mitchell is in fact cruelty free, if anyone is curious. Um, Aveda is too, I don't know if they do hair dye, but Aveda is owned by a parent company that tests. So anyways, I, I added this blonde, I haven't really been doing much of straightening it since I added the blonde, because I like it curled the blonde better. Uh, because I've been box dyeing my hair for so long, some of the, the highlights came out different shades than each other, and for some reason, this half of my head looks blonder than this half of my head, like this front section. I wish I had had her add some more highlights through here, because she didn't as much here as she did kind of through the rest of my hair. I was scared. I wanted it to still have a little bit of a red tint to it, so I told her, it's not her fault, I specifically told her not to add too much blonde there, but I wish that I had, like I wish I could go back in time and add a couple more here. But I just wanted to let you know that you guys can in fact dye your hair cruelty free. In fact, part of the reason I went red was because I couldn't find a cruelty free blonde hair dye. And so I went red using henna. And then I heard that henna is actually not great for your hair and at that point that's when I switched to the Revlon one but of course Revlon is not cruelty free. It's confusing though because they um, 
they stopped selling in China, and before they were selling in China, they were like one of the few drugstore brands that were cruelty free, like years and years and years ago, before I went cruelty free. This was forever ago. Um, I don't know, like 2012 or something like that, I think, before, even before that. I think Revlon was considered a cruelty free drugstore brand. But even though they've stopped selling in China, Tashina, who uh, is, who runs the blog Logical Harmony, which is my favorite cruelty free blog that there is, um, because I find that her standards are just very strict. And um, she has a ton of cruelty free brands listed. She's not changed Revlon. So Revlon is still not considered cruelty free. And I've been using it. But anyways, um, so I had not been dying it blonde, partially because of that, and partially because I'm cheap. The box hair dye that I was using was like three bucks. And uh, this highlights, if anyone has them, cost quite a lot more. Because I do the foil ones that take forever. I have a lot of hair. Like a lot, a lot of hair. And so it took hours and hours and hours to do just a partial foil highlight on it and uh, because of that I've just been not doing it and the other thing is when I was really blonde because I used to be even more like platinum platinum blonde way back in the day when I was super blonde my roots would grow back really quick and I just found that I had to be on top of it a lot more whereas when I was red I could let it grow out a little bit and I didn't have to be quite as on top of it so we'll see I like it I was kind of in a mood for a change um, it's growing on me when I first did it I was like I don't know about this but I do think that I will go back red I think that um, my natural hair color is like a, a dirty blonde very light brown kind of color my brows are way darker than my natural hair color so a lot of people think that my natural hair color is like a brunette and it depends on who you ask. If I ask someone who's really blonde, they'll tell me, no, your natural hair color is brunette. If I ask someone who's really brunette, she's like, no, your natural hair color is blonde. Uh, I consider it kind of like a dirty blonde, mousy brown, Hermione Granger, a little lighter than that kind of color. Um, so when it grows back with red, it's not quite as noticeable, but I find that I have been many, many different hair colors over the years, and I just always like it. I always like change, and I like different shades, but I find that I think the red, even though it's not my natural color, looks like it could be. Like I had a couple people when I dyed it say, I had no idea that your hair was not naturally red. I'm kind of lazy with this straightening right now because I did straighten it yesterday. So I'm just kind of like going over, making sure there's no like kinks from sleeping on it yesterday or last night. The other thing is there is a little bit of damage that was done, which is, you know, that happens with blonde. And you can see like I'm losing, I lose chunks of hair. If you guys aren't following our daily channel or the family vlogging channel, you might not know. Um, but I recently learned that I have Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid condition, which can make, uh, your hair look, it, it can, I'm sorry, it can make your hair fall out. Sorry, my phone is distracting me because it's ringing right now, but I'm going to ignore it because I'm talking to you guys. Um, and because I don't like answering the phone for, uh, numbers I don't recognize. So this is something that I've been adding to my hair. It's by Hask Arben Oil from Morocco. Um, someone just gave it to me, so I don't know the cruelty-free status of it. Um, but I've been doing this because I do have a couple of frizzies. Looks better than it did when I first had it dyed. But because I've spent years dyeing it with box dye, she was like, oh, I don't know if we'll be able to do it. And she uh, put that too close to my roots. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do it and it might cause damage. So they did like a test strand and they were like, yeah, it's okay. 
but I do have a couple. Can you see? A couple little flyaways and stuff, but it does look better than it was looking when I first had it done. So that is it. Just real quick straight in and I thought I'd chit chat with you guys while I did it. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this random, random video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button because this channel is not something that I consistently always upload on, so if you hit the bell when I do upload, you won't miss it. You can also uh, see a lot more of us over on the Family Vlogging channel if you want to see um, like my auditions. I have two more coming up, which I'm really stoked about. Very, very excited. Uh, so you can check that out. That's Sun Compact. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.